I've had friends that have had fish catastrophes and I've seen them on Facebook and I feel sorry for those people, but it's never happened to me. So I couldn't really empathize with them in a way where I was coming from a same, the same place that they were coming from. That has changed today. Because tonight I was doing a water change on Alcatraz. I, I made a huge mistake. It's something that I knew I shouldn't have done, but I just didn't think of it. My wife's football team was playing tonight. I sat down and watched the game while the tank was filling back up and I didn't check on them periodically like I usually do. So the tank was about three quarters of the way full. I went back over to check on it. All the fish were down on the floor of the tank. A few of them were up at the top, but they, they looked very lethargic. They, they looked like they were in distress. I knew that at the time that I put dechlorinator in the water, they weren't getting any better. In fact, some of them started turning over and turning upside down. And so I dumped four times the amount of dechlorinator in that you normally put in to fight off any ammonia or anything that might have happened in the water today that hadn't been in the water last week. That didn't do anything and so I immediately started thinking of alternatives that I could do to get these fish to a safe place. And the only thing I could think of was my 75 gallon, which is in my bedroom. And I just started catching them. They were super easy to catch because they were on the brink of death. So I caught them several at a time. My wife told me she would take a net and give me the, the net that she had just used because we had a couple of them. And I just got him out of that tank as quickly as I could. I put him in the 75 and they just started sinking to the bottom. A lot of them were upright, but some of them just flipped right over. It wasn't good and it still isn't good because this just happened a couple hours ago. So at this point, I have out of about 35 or so fish in this tank, I've lost eight of them, including some wonderful fish that I will miss greatly. I'll miss them all, but you know, I, I, I keep no secrets. I do have some favorites. There are others in the tank right now that look like they're going to pass within probably the hour. I don't want to take them down right now because I don't know exactly what happened to them and maybe they'll pull out of it. I don't know. I am just keeping an eye on that tank to see how they're doing. This tank is completely empty. I started to doubt whether I'd put that dechlorinator in when my wife kept asking me, are you sure you put it in? Because so much had happened. I'd already taken all the fish out of the tank one by one and that took about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm stressed because my fish are dying. And I started thinking, maybe I didn't put any in. Maybe I forgot the dechlorinator. At this point, I don't expect to have many fish left in the morning. Some of them look like they're doing fine right now, at least relatively fine. They're not struggling with breathing. Sometimes they're swimming around a little bit. So I hope that they make it, but I don't expect to have more than a handful of fish left alive in the morning. Hopefully I'm wrong. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'm gonna go monitor those guys in the 75. Again, I don't have anybody left in the, seven, in the uh, 240 right now. And then, go to bed and in the morning, I'll check on them again and I'll get back with you and let you know the damage. Good morning, everyone. I slept for about four hours last night and right before I went to bed, I lost another one, my Red Empress. So that brought the total last night to nine. And this morning I woke up and a lot more had made it than I thought would initially when I, when I said that I didn't want to, when I, I didn't want to euthanize them because I didn't know if they'd pull out of it. I'm glad I didn't because a lot of them made it that I would have taken out. So there is that. Hopefully there, there are a few more, about three more. Moby is one of them that is on his side, but he's still breathing. I don't know if he's gonna pop out of it. My albino dragon blood, he looks like he could go either way right now. There are only about three, three fish that are on the verge right now of going either way. I can tell you that Gary and Zeke and at least one of my other Victorians, Eduardo, is still alive. I wasn't able to turn on the light because my wife has been working all night and she just went to bed, so I can't tell you exactly who's left. I'm thinking that what happened was I started making a video about the tank, and when I, for, when I start making a video, I can forget a lot of things that I need to be paying attention to. So I need to come up with some kind of check system to make sure that I am following through on the things that I do ordinarily that are easy to bypass if I'm focusing on a video, and make sure that those get done. Maybe I did forget 
the dechlorinator. I, I really don't know at this point. I'm, all signs are pointing to yes. It seems like the, the quadruple dose of dechlorinator would have helped bring them back around. I've never had a fish with chlorine poisoning, so, so maybe that doesn't help after they've already been poisoned. I just don't know. And I don't know why some of them made it and some didn't. I still plan on taking some water down to our watershed coalition to see if they can tell me if there's anything in the water besides just chlorine. I did last night taste the water and it did taste more chlorinated than usual. It had a slight smell of chlorine too, but it wasn't like I've had before when I've done water changes at my old home and they would really pump the chlorine in and I could still do a water change with that highly chlorinated water and just throw some dechlorinator in before I started filling up and it was fine. Sometimes I even forgot and would do it part way in. So I'm thinking it is just a combination of me forgetting to put in the dechlorinator and the water being chlorinated. Right now I'll just show you a video in memory of those that I've lost over the last several hours. I'm gonna miss those guys. When something like this happens, when you have a disaster, especially if it's your fault, which I think it is my fault, you just have to keep going. You can't let it get you down so much that you're gonna beat yourself up. There's no point in it. And you don't wanna get out of the hobby because you've made a mistake. You just wanna grow from it. Make yourself a better fish keeper.